I'm shooting some of this Federal XM 193F 5.56 five, 55 grain I believe it's called metal case boat tail tail bullet all right six shots down at a hundred all right closed up let's see how it groups I already did a group off camera and it was kind of undesirable sadly so let's see what else I if I can get it to group better That one hit high. Okay. Keep in mind, folks, I have my gun set up just perfect where I'm not moving at all. I could scoot this up forward a little bit more. There we go. All right. <clears throat> High left. There we go. Okay, so I got data on my camera and life. Them opened up slightly. <clears throat> I'm bringing the crosshairs right back on the orange dot every time and getting as steady as I possibly can and it's it's opening up my DPMS very well. I was making sure it's completely empty. But uh, my very my DPMS Oracle very well may not like them as good as it does other stuff because them opened up quite a bit alright so I got a few more rounds I think I'm just gonna do some plinking now Upon further inspection of the brass, I found out that these are indeed military ammo. 
so that might be why they were opening up so bad because it's M193 ball and it's meant for a 20 inch barrel and not carbine length so I'm just gonna shoot have some fun enjoy If my camera don't die. Oh, there we go. That was it. <laughs> yep. Just making sure. Yep, she's empty. Sweet, that was seven shots. Good fun. Did this before, but I rambled on too long over stuff that I was planning on doing after this video, like my upcoming videos. And I rambled on too long and got carried away, so I'll just do that in another video. Oops, dropped my pen. <laughs> anyway, the ammo I tested today was XM193F. It's M193 ball, it's a 55 grain metal case boat tail bullet, 55 grains, 5.56 by 45 millimeter. Some pretty decent stuff, as you all see. Okay, so when I first got to the range, this was my first group out of the rifle. Three shot group, got 2.50 MOA holding here each time. Then I filmed, started filming. And these were the, were the two groups you saw me shoot. And I was holding here each time. Got 2.75 MOA holding here each time. And then I was holding here. Also got 2.75 MOA. And if you notice, the bullets are in the exact same position each time on both of these groups. And they're both 2.75 MOA. So, or 2.75 inches. So that's pretty consistent. Okay, so I shot those two groups. Then I wanted to plank some. And you all see me shoot this. Uh, seven rounds. They kind of grouped up real tight right there. And then they opened up. But overall, from this one to that one, it was 2.75 MOA as well. And then, still wanted to plank some, and y'all seen me shoot, like when the bolt was cycling in that one part of the video. That was this group here, and it actually got tighter, and it was a 1.75 MOA group. So, that is some pretty consistent ammo there. You got two, well, you got three groups that measured exactly the same each time. 2.75 MOA, and then got one that was... Yeah, kind of like in the middle, 2.50, and then got one that tightened up real good. So, this stuff did better than I thought it would. It just didn't group as tight as other stuff I've shot out of my DPMS Oracle AR-15. Upon further inspection, like I stated earlier, but I'll reiterate, I looked at the back end of the case here on one of them. And it has the NATO cross there at the top. And then it says LC-13. So these are in fact military 5.56 bullets. They were not steel core though. I ran a magnet over all of them the other night. And none of them were steel core. So I figured, you know, may as well just shoot them all up and have some fun. But all in all, this is some good planking ammo. I'll have to do another test like this to confirm if it will indeed, you know, have repeatability in like 2.75 MOA groups. You know, if it keeps the consistency, I may, I will, I will do a, a final uh, review on this box of ammo here for the DPMS Oracle. And I will let you all know my findings when I find another box of it. It performed almost similarly to XM80C for the 308, or well, the M1A. It performed almost similarly to it. 
uh, in terms of groups out of my M1A loaded. This got three MOA consistently. Yeah, there's little slight variations here and there, but it got three MOA most of the time. So they performed almost about the same. The two, this one was 556 five, and the other was 762 NATO. My DPMS Oracle has a 1 and 9 twist barrel, so I figured it would group this stuff into about an inch group, about like this, about every time, but it's factory ammo after all, and it's ball ammo too, so not really meant for precision. And correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe the XM193 or M193 ball cartridge was meant for the 20 inch barreled AR-15s and the M16 rifle with a 1 and 7 twist. I may be wrong, but that's from what I remember. Alright, well, I got other videos planned, but I'll, I'll talk about them in another video and not this one. I'm not going to draw this one out again. This has been Pluskin by 51mm and I'll see you all in the next video.